Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to find accounts linked to my Gmail account. That's right, your Gmail account is something you use quite often on your phone, your devices, on like apps, you have games, you connect to it, and then you delete that game, and then it's still connected to your Gmail account. And if you want to know how to find those linked accounts to your Gmail, and you want to get rid of them, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I'm going to show you how to do it on the website on my computer. So if you go on the Google browser, I'm going to show you how to do it on that. And then I'll show you how to do it on the app um, on your phone, the mobile way of how to do it also. I'm going to show you how to do that both in this video. Before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe notification bell so you don't miss any new videos we come out with every Thursday. I've done, um, the last couple of weeks, I've been doing um, articles and videos on the Gmail, Google um, stuff. Like the ones right here, I'll scroll down for you. I said how to change Google Chrome theme and how to see past Google Doodles were the last two I did. And I'll have links down below for you to check those videos out. But this time we're going to jump on to finding how to find accounts linked to my Gmail. So let's start right away. We're going to go right up to the top here, go to a new tab, and you want to make sure you're signed into your, your Gmail account. And then once you do, go up to your face and click on it, <laughs> your profile image up there on the right. And then you're going to go down to under your name, you're going to say manage your Google account. I'm going to click on that. And once you do that, you're going to look to the left side menu on the Google account. You can have home, personal info, data and privacy, security. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for security. I'm going to click on security. And then under security screen, you're going to scroll in the middle. You're going to scroll down until you see right here, your connections to third party apps and services. These are your devices, but we're looking for this right here. And what you want to do is say, see all connections. Click on that. And once you see all connections, you're going to see keep track of your connections. You share data with these third party apps and services. So that's what you did. So this shows you all the ones that are connected right now to your Gmail account. And I want to get rid of this one right here. I don't use this game anymore. So what you want to do is find the one you want. You can sort and stuff. I think they do that. Those are signed in ones. Signed in, sign in with Google. So some of them are signed in with Google. Some just have access. I'm going to do this one right here at the top. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So you want to click on the one you want to, you know, take care of here. You can go here and this tells you what it is, the name of the app. It says what it, it's a little information on it. Information. I love how I said that. Um, then you want to go down to see details. I do see this one. A lot of people are going to say, well, it says delete all connections you have with that game, the app. Well, I like to go here to show you a little bit more. So I'm going to click on the see details and this gives you more details of when you um, gave it access. Um, and it never expires, which is why I say it's good to get in here to do that. So what I would do is go, if you remove access, you might not be able to use some of the app's um, features. Well, we don't want to because we don't want it anymore. So it says remove all access. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to give you this long, drawn-out thing. It's just the confirmation screen. So you can read this if you like, but we just want to get rid of it. I'm going to click on confirm down here. And then once it does, it's confirmed. Now it's gone. There it is. It is now you will need to allow, you'll have to allow access again if you download the app, which is fine. We're cool with that. And that's it. That's how easy it is to do it on here. You can do it to all the ones you don't use anymore. Like there's like, I don't use that anymore. I don't use that anymore. So there's a lot, there's a lot on here I don't use anymore. I need to go through, but that's how you do it on your, on your computer, on the Google Chrome browser. Now I'm going to jump over to my Motorola Edge Android phone and show you how to do it on your mobile device okay now I'm on my Motorola Edge Android phone and we're going to show you how to do the same process on here on your mobile device so first thing we want to do is we want to get out of the screen we're going to look for this is the way I like to do it there are other ways you can do this but this is the way I'm going to show you're going to find your Gmail app you're going to tap on the Gmail app and once that opens you're going to see your your profile image up at the top right you're going to tap on that and it's going to give you manage your google account where we clicked on the website we're going to do it here too and it's going to open up here and the thing we were looking for is security so you're going to swipe over whoop don't go past security it's right there tap on security then once you're on security you're going to swipe up until you go down to here right here the connections to third-party apps and to services and we're going to tap on the see all connections again nope I'll tap on that 
And then once you do that, it's gonna open up this, and we this looks familiar, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is the same thing we do. You can search, just you can search on here. You can do the same thing with the tabs here, but we're just right here. We see what we want. We're gonna get rid of this one right here. So the one right here, you're gonna tap on the one you want to work on. It's gonna open up the information like we had before. And I want you to go to see details. That's when we're gonna tap on the button. And then once you see details, it's gonna pull up the same thing you got before. It gives you a description stuff. Stop using sign in. So this one's signed in. So this is a little different than the one I showed you before. But this gives you um, basically the same way you're going to find the other ones. And it's gonna ask you a question. You're gonna say stop using sign in with Google. So you're gonna tap on that. So that's a little different than the other one. And you're gonna get that confirmation window um, pop up for you. And you can read this if you like. Um, but it, I'm just gonna hit confirm. Look at that, and it's confirmed. It completed it, so it's that easy to go in and find your third party, your third party um, apps and stuff, and other apps connected to your Gmail uh, account. So it's easy to find, easy to remove them if you don't want them there anymore, and that's it. Now you know how to do it on your computer, and you know how to do it on your mobile device. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.